Talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique House. It's your boy ECEO. And I'm Money Moses, by the way. And we're creating content every damn day. Hey, man, check it, man. Hey, man, we back at the hub, man. We back at hey, Dallas, Texas, man. Stand up, man. Hey, man. Listen, man, we got a guy here today, y'all. He really don't need no introduction, man. Really to be don't. real with you, man, this guy right here, man, when I didn't have... You know, I started out, man, calling certain dudes, man. And when I called this dude, it wasn't no hesitation for him to come over here. And this nigga don't... Hey, he, he a real one. I called him after that he uh, been hustling in the city every time i called me picked the phone up man this my guy man done chiefs in the building big chief aka big chief <laughs> aka yeah. big chief is yeah, here yeah yeah done chief man what it do guy what it do my man guy, i'm you know, just appreciate you appreciate thanking you, you for, for coming man no nah, no nah, i appreciate you for steady rolling it out how you rolled it out for me you know what i'm saying i fuck with those who fuck with me simple real so you showed me you were fucking with me, so I just returned the favor. Like, that's man, just how I rock. I said a hundred thousand times, man, when I called you, when I called Lil Runny, when I called the row. See, because I know already the ones in the city for me that really, you know, when I would go, like I said, when I go to Capital Bomb or if I'm talking to Diamond D or if I'm talking to George, because I'm a real nigga that been here with yeah. these niggas, man. Gotcha. And gotcha. I know who they told me was the ones. You see what I'm saying? And I and I heard the music. So I never disrespect that for sure, man. Like coming into this city, I've been here longer than most of these niggas rapping. You know what I'm saying? I've been in this city for thirty some years. For sure. So for sure. I for sure. I really, really try to bring everybody together. I tried that start now, didn't I? It didn't work out right now. <laughs> I mean, once again, that's why you just got to mess with those who mess with you. I you know. know. You mm -hmm. can't force it. You know what yeah. I mean? You know, just, it got to be by choice, not by force. Yeah. You know? like, yeah. Like, simply, just like how you saying that, you know, when you called me and reached out, I, I, you know, I reacted the way you wanted to. Yeah. You know, you go have the ones that you got, you could talk to, talk about like that, but you go also have the ones that, you know. Uh, yeah. Head a whole opposite direction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you yeah. <laughs> Had a whole do a whole yeah. 360 and go the other way quick Good show. Good show. you know Good show. and i had to learn that you know even in this business you know hiring different people understand you you'll be able to relate to this certain people certain and me and my wife went through this for years this store been in 15 years we had to learn to start to let people come in and out of our lives brother right, it, right. It, the girls we would hire the dudes we would hire it was hurtful at first because it was like damn you know you 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 draw this Damn, why this happened? But you learn over the years in business that you got to watch people walk out that door and never worry about them coming back again. Mm -hmm. uh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> now, that ain't just business. That's life. That's life. Yeah, that's life. Yeah, ain't nothing going to last forever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just truth be told, ain't nothing going to last forever, even if it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I get it, man. You know, uh, if it's a good thing... <laughs> It hurts more. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. You need it's levels to you success, know? bro. Yeah. Huh? It's levels to success. Whoa. Hey, so, you know, uh, Money Moses, man. Uh, man, you know, I, I know you weren't here last time that I interviewed Don Chief. Nah. And how long Boy. that was, man? Because I can't even remember. That was man. almost a year ago. Well, I wasn't here. We only been doing this a year and a half. I you came right. quick. Okay. I okay. was here. Okay. You was here the day he came? Yeah, I just ain't talked to him, but I was here. Oh, you was here? Yeah. I know you always around. I couldn't, I know my wife was the one yeah, that did here. the interviewing, but you was here. Yeah, I was here. I don't, do you remember? I didn't remember. I don't remember. I don't, nah. I, See what I'm saying? Nah. I, that day, I ain't gonna lie, that day you came in the same. I don't think same. I stayed. Oh, you didn't stay? I don't think I stayed that day. I, I know, I was here. photo homie was here that day. Certain niggas was here that I know because he was doing my behind the scene. Gotcha. Just gotcha. like he here today. Gotcha. I'm gonna know who doing my, my, my behind the scene because that's how I like I do my pictures. Like you'll see, you gonna yeah, do some pictures, send them to you. Gonna see, okay. You know, it's gonna look live. That's okay. the way I be I thinking. Want I want and he better than uh, I ain't gonna say he better than Photo Homie because Photo Homie love doing visuals. You know, he a video guy. Really, this guy really rocked them pictures. They got their own lane. Yeah, they both do it. Do their own thing, man. Yeah. So let me ask you this, man. Because last time, you know, uh, when you came on here, you had a I think the shoes, the thing that were going with the shoes. How did that go, and what ended up happening with it? Uh, they still in, in motion. It's just pretty much me just putting more love into it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, honestly, I got a great big gumbo of things going, and I just ain't gave one thing 100%. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just uh I'm just pretty much putting everything in the pot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And stirring it up. You know, it's stir everything there. You know what I mean? I seen you know, you just the type of dude that you just stay busy, you know what I'm saying? When it come down to your music, man. When is the like like the last time you had some videos, I was some little niggas in the south side, I think that's where they was at. And y'all did a video, remember, cause I clipped it and I you know, I'm saucing it up on my on yeah, my yeah, when yeah. I put the interview out, I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw this right yeah, there and yeah, put this yeah. right there. Yeah, a little strap and deuce. Yeah, yeah how yeah. they doing? Man, I, I see them still working and okay. boys still, you know, it seems like they still in their lane, they riding it. You know, everybody still, you know, pushing. Yeah, I mean, pushing. I see them pushing. Uh, so they working. Man, when you when I'm gonna get another you and the road type song, man, out. Man, yeah. I ain't rap with I ain't rap with bro in a while. You dig? Uh, I ain't rap with little bro. Uh, I mean, you know, we I always I always messed with little bro. Like, yeah. When whatever whatever jam you heard you heard with me and him on, I I, I initiated that. So it, it ain't nothing but love. It just you know I catch some that you know I want to holler at him on. I'ma holler at him. And if, For sure. You know he get at me and vice versa before time. We'll get it going. He came on here. He had uh, he said that you you know pretty much. You didn't mess with the boogie music. He was just telling me how y'all first met and how you came to him afterwards or whatever. It was a solid move you made on him. I just remember that much. Yeah, like it was a nah, solid he, move to he, where you he, came to him in a way to where he respected it on a whole nother level. Like check this out, man, little bro. I've been, I've been had been rocking with him. Uh, he opened up for me for my yeah. first. Like I now nah, I used to throw album release parties and I bring out the city. Now nah, I let him. Open up for me, come do your, your walk that walk joint. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, the, the Where they do that at? That with me, come on in. You know, let me rock out with you. You know, the Triple D. Man, that with me. You know, so I, it ain't that I ain't mess with the boogie, boogie music. It was just that I just was doing a certain type of music. You know okay, what I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah. I liked it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I wasn't living, I wasn't dancing at the club. I was the one in the corner looking straight face, you know, like, nigga, <laughs> what you looking at? So I was on that street shit type shit. So that was just what I was on, you know. I wasn't in the middle of the club sweating. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie with it. But when I heard it though I ain't gonna lie I rock with it Cause of where I come from I rocked with your sound And the way you were moving And what you were saying Oh man I was like This nigga here the one Then nigga say He drove up in the Bentley purple coupe I, I'm like This nigga the one Right here In the yeah, projects yeah, yeah. I heard all kind of stuff About Chief And it made a nigga like this one right here, he really be, you know, he care about the people because he ain't forgot where he come from. And we still live that way. Nah, we still go pull up, you know, big foreign joints, hundred or better, you know what I'm saying? Letting them see it to let them know, like, you can't do it. It ain't no, dope, it's not the shit on them, but then, you know, in these time and efforts, you got to kind of be careful because boys look at that as shitting on them instead of looking at it as motivation, you know what I'm talking about? So, I had that to happen to me, you know, I know. A lot of people call it hate, you know. Yeah. But, you know, it, it's still the same thing. We still looking good and groovy. It's just that, you know, I don't have to prove myself no more. Back then, I was a young bull. I had to prove. I had something to prove. You know what I mean? So I think I proved myself well. You know, I got a guy such as yourself who's older than me who speaks the way it. you speak. And, yeah. And, and so it's like, you know, when I got the respect of my peers, that was in my, in the, in the ones that was over me, that was like, she, you couldn't tell me nothing. <laughs> no, you know, hey, that's real. That makes sense, though. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, see, being from Texas, and if you, man, everybody know me how I am. Everybody, the first thing everybody say, the niggas that come in here, they like to argue and go back and forth with me on the damn mic. You just like Texas. No, nigga, this is where I'm from. Right. So you're going to have to respect it on a whole nother level when it comes to dissecting how to, how powerful the talent is. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it ain't going to be like you're going to just be able to say this nigga over there and me, and not get that just do to the niggas over here. Right. Because this is right. where I heard it at first. So I ain't finna set up and act like just because I hear the masses saying, this, and, and I'm not talking about Jay-Z, but yeah, Jay-Z or whoever from somewhere else, man, that's hard, that's hard. Uh, I'm going to be like, that's cool, but it ain't what I listen to. Right. Not right. that it ain't selling, I selling, I don't mm -hmm. care. But if you can't, you know, this nigga used to have a snit, the stick in his mouth. Oh, See, no. I, 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 and, and that's, that, that, that I can relate to that. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Right. Uh, them right. niggas right. can't relate to They ain't got no trees and stuff <laughs> like that. Nah, <laughs> so, for real. Nah, so I got to do what's real for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. And that's just us being from that South. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's just us being from the South. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she in... And if you come from the beginning of this shit, you know, so you've been able to see it from the beginning yes, to now. And it's like, damn, 
You know, you you can you can judge overall what it sound like. Like mm -hmm. a person who just know now, they can't judge everything. Mm -mm. They can only just judge from now. You know, so you know they'll look at anything behind them. It's like that's out of there. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't get that full effect. But we been here since the beginning of it. We get to get the full effect of all of it. That's it. And you know when they used to didn't even respect the, the South like that. Right. So when I looked like the other day, uh, two, yesterday I got a text, you in a fly and say, you want to interview these guys? And I looked at the whole fly. It was some niggas from uh, New York and it, it, and they had Paris on that hoe. I you know all them other niggas, I went stupid. I said, man, that's Paris, man. That's EPMD, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I want to interview that nigga right there because you got to realize people be like talking about Jay and all these other niggas, but I'm a LL Cool yeah, J type the nigga. Beginning, you I'm the, from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. So when I see that nigga, I met Eric when they up there, Eric Sherman up in uh, Vegas. And then I see uh, Parrish, I'm like, damn, like I never met him. So right. it'd be cool to talk to him. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because I really rock with him. Now, if you get another nigga like somebody that I really, like when the South start popping, right. I'm going to miss a lot of them niggas because I had the South then. Right. I didn't have a South when that stuff first popped off, man. I only had New York and Boogie Down Production. You see what I'm saying? But then when you niggas came into the game and y'all started talking about uh, certain streets I done been on, certain hoods I done had to leave my car in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that changed the game for me. Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? West Dallas, my cousin Charles, Rambo in. Right. right. When you start talking that talking, you in wherever, fist trap, rup rupa circle. You know what I'm saying? Wherever. And I can relate, nigga. Yeah, that make it even better. Nigga, I'm gone. Nigga, this is where I'm at. Way better. This yeah, is where I'm at now. <laughs> yeah. This is where I'm at. And it's going to be hard to move me. Yeah, and that's like kind of really what happened. You know what I'm saying? So thank you again for all them sounds, man. All them, all they call them EPs and stuff now. All nah, them mixtapes. Nah, all them do, albums. Nah, I ain't do no mixtapes. You did albums, did you? But it was so many yeah. coming, it confused me. Yeah, not, it wasn't nothing mixed about that. It was all all the e greedy all the e greedy original. volumes was albums. Original. You see that? And I was listening to all of them as a kid. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was on a couple I listened to from uh, Texas, and that was Lil Kiki and uh, him. That's it. Don't to listen. Speaking of Lil Kiki, Lil Kiki had a lot to say. You know, uh, I asked Lil Kiki about Dallas, and I was like, he That's was my like, boy. yeah, yeah. I didn't know you and him even. I didn't know none about that project. I'm sorry, but I didn't. And I told him, I said, man, you mess with Dallas niggas. He was like, I talked to him the other day. He was like, uh, man, I we love Dallas. That nigga told me. Chief, man, thank you, man, again, man, for coming on the show, man. You always, you, you family, man, to me. Is no, it? no, no, we group. Okay. Yeah, we group. Okay, yeah, 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 cool, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, you family to me, man. So at the end of the day, I really don't, I don't switch up. That's cool. What you see is what you get. Everybody said that. At, didn't they say that at the, at the, at the wedding reunion? Yeah, we've been married 20 years. They say, man, he tell you what's on his mind, and he don't, you know, he I don't do bad moves, you, bro. You kind of cut like I'm cut. <laughs> nah, I don't do no switching up. Yeah. Nah, what you see is yeah. what you get. Mm -hmm. You know, nonetheless, I always mow. What you see. If a nigga tell you he did and, I didn't, you didn't, and, 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 and you didn't see it, you had to see it to believe it. Kind of be like leery of that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> because usually you're going you gonna, to like, know this the way this dude move. Cause he ain't gonna do nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? Right. I ain't gonna never be like, man, done, chief, I ain't gonna say these niggas, this nigga ain't this one day. And then ride with him the next day. I don't do that. That's not cool. Yeah, no, I can't no, do nah, it. Nah, no. that's that's a lot of the young era now. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, the new generation, they they only loyal you to the hype and the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, nah, you're right. They only loyal you to the hype and the money, man. Yeah, oh, it, but see, here here's the deal, man. When when Lil Kiki, when I talked to him, I said, man, what is? I said, what's the difference? You know, I said, why? I said, Dallas and Houston. It seemed like two different worlds sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It just like it's Texas. Don't get me wrong, but it Houston no got its own it, way. It, it ain't no sometimes. We is two different. There people. it is. Nah, so they, you see it the yeah, same way. Yeah, they Houston and we Dallas for a word. You know what I'm wow. saying? Wow. Yeah. And now nah, that's just different. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, we just got a yeah. We 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 Texas. We got similarities, but for the most part, yeah, we two different worlds. Yeah, it ain't Dallas is totally different in H town. Yeah, but see, my partners in New York, they think it's all the same. Yeah, I'm being real. Yeah, right, right, right. When I talk to my, my nigga, shout out uh, Junebug. Junebug be like, man, E, man, I'm coming down, man. I be, I'm coming. I say, where you going to be at? He said, I'm going to be in, I'm going to be down there with you, nigga. I'm going to be in Houston. I'm like, no, nah, I'm in Dallas, my right. nigga. They don't know. Right, they don't know. <laughs> they now, don't know. And, 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 and now it don't really change because 
you know, for the music part on the on the on the hip hop part, when they used to think of Texas, they only used to think of just Houston. You know what they I'm saying? Did. But now Dallas got that motion. Yeah. You know, for the for the new era, we the ones who've been you know, popping them out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And counting in the sense for the streets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, for the street, you know, we the ones been getting the attention. So it's like, you know, now, you know, it it, 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 it ain't just, you know, and that's just for the culture entertainment. That's from the boxing, the the sports, the cowboys, and the Mavericks. Like, I, I said hold, that. I hold run is good. You know, and, and, it, and it, for a little while, you know, James Harden was down there. Hey, them boys were run. H-Town was the talk for basketball, you know, uh, football. Football, you know, they was beat better than us. Romo wasn't producing and shit like that during things of that nature. But now, it done switched over. Yellow hit. You know, you done had Mo. You done had Bobby Billions. You know, and these are, you know, you done had, uh, you know, a few people that done came from Dallas that, you know, cater to, that represent the street, the world. You know, when they think in the Texas, and it's been coming from Dallas. That movement been coming from Dallas. Yeah. You know, instead of, it used to been just H-Town. That's right. been majority coming from Dallas. So, we in, we got motion now. We just got to produce a little bit more. Yeah, well, I think last time we talked, we spoke a little bit about the Mo3 incident because it was fresh back then with me and you talked. Okay, okay. And you was like, you know, niggas really seeing us now we you know right, right. They see, you remember that you said right. I, yeah, yeah 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 now we they look they looking at us on the national exposure because yeah. you know his death was more of a uh it was a it was one of those national like headline moments you know it was it, it, it wasn't not to take nothing away from the music but the 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 death you know overdid all the music and then mm -hmm. the music you know came afterwards you know what i'm saying but the death is what put the eyes on the city you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying just mm -hmm. to have some like you know one of the local faces of the city to get gunned down like that that was like you know shit that was some crazy shit to be crazy. done so it, it drew that kind of attention and then when you had the rappers that was you know who was aligned with them and fucking with them that was you know got had them platforms they was showing the love it just it just made it all just come together. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah. you got, you know, Yella just had, you know, his success. Yeah, yeah, you know what yep. I'm saying? And, Earl, and had went Earl, through his thing. You know, so they, you know, we was getting that. So it was just like, that was just on the gangster side, the street side, what went on with Mo that kind of certified the city as a whole. Like, oh, yeah, they for real down there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we been for real, but when they seen it like that, they're on nat national TV, they on social, live. they seen it live, it was like, Oh, them boys for real. In they shot, it was they rapper. It was some kind of rap nigga. And then once they got to digging about who he is, and it just made it just like, oh, yeah, Dallas for real. We got, they're, they're about that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I definitely know they knew it. We already knew. But they, I think the, they start to understand it. it can go down. Yeah, they you, got a real understanding. Yeah. <laughs> you can't yeah, just go down that plane. You said it because when it happened, I actually felt it. It's like you got a, you got a vibe when that shit happened. It's like, damn, they really did this. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. It, it it just solidified us on the on the from the underworld aspect in the hip hop, like being connected to the streets. Like we we really had never had a rapper or artist that was just solely locked in, like identified with the streets that was successful. You know what I'm saying? So when she that happened to him. And he just got to tell me got his, you know, certification card. It just it just made it like, oh, they for real on that street shit. Them rap niggas for real. So them boys do be talking that talk, they about that shit too. Yeah, it can happen. Yeah, that it, it made them realize that too. It made yeah. them really realize yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree with that. Um, like <clears throat> when when I talked to Kiki, I, I would all I was messing with him about it and he told me y'all did that. Uh, that that project together called Messing About the Dallas and Houston thing, and he threw your name out there. I think he threw Big Tuck out there, and I think he threw. Uh, it was it was it was a, a, a few. You was there that I t we was in Houston at his place, and we did. He but your name because your, he said no me. I love Dallas man. man. Me, me and Chief got we got we got a we got a that, whole project that's together. Big bro, man, that's <laughs> a, like now nah, me and Kiki and I met mean, Kiki and Favorites. I met mean, both of them together. Okay. You know so. Like they've been fucking with me since 2010, you know. They I, I invited them down. I had did a show. I had uh had Ross. I had brought Ross down, and I was like, man, I just want y'all to fuck with me because Ferris and Rayface, Rayface okay. Slim, brother. They he they now that north side. They fuck with that chief. I didn't know they was just coming fucking with Cap doing they work. Yeah. And them boys turning them on. Hey man, it's this nigga from. So I didn't know, but that's what was going on. Yeah. But you know, me and Key and Ferris met. 
we just hit it off, you know, and that nigga, like, like I've been a Kiki fan. Like, that, you know, I'm one Me of the ones who grew up off of him. So, you know, when I first meet him, to see my nigga singing my shit. Now nah, he rapping my shit to me. Five grand to get you buried up under land. Quiet is kept, I'm G'd up. And I'm like, yeah, look at this nigga. That nigga singing my shit, but I'm a fan of him, right? So, Dope. you know, that was just like, yeah, man, like, you know, that's that's hard. You know, I, I didn't never say nothing, but you know, I'm just like, yeah, that shit was hard. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about? Like, nigga, I'm used to being in the car with the beans don't burn and yeah, yeah, yeah. the commission to done key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's like, yeah, yeah, it was man. cool, man. Nah, it was real cool. And then doing the album, you know, I went out to Houston, stayed at his crib about five days. We put that boy together, album cover, dropped that boy. We just been rocking out ever since, doing shows together. Man. Everything. You know what I'm saying? I, be, I break bread with bro. That's dope, man. That's real. That's that's real spill, huh? Yeah, yeah I break bread man. with bro. So when, you, when, when is the book coming, man? You, I mean, uh... I mean, we ain't doing a book, we doing a documentary. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing a documentary, so I'm in the process of doing a DFW documentary, the other side of the DFW documentary in my own personal one. Dope. It's gonna feed off of that. Okay. So right now, we, I mean, cause at the end of the day, nobody can do a documentary on they self if you ain't did nothing about the city, cause nobody bigger than the city. Mm -hmm. You know, so, yeah. you know, I'm finna tell the story from other city from the underworld so that's what i got going on right now so we're in the process of doing that i done got uh interviews from doc hey uh, so, like i'm getting out and boy i'm gonna get everybody that's that's who's who but i'm also going for your street figures like your ray char fields and your, Man. your west dallas legends your your south dallas and oak cliff legends that 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 really put their foot in this game in this in this city and really help turn it into what it is i'm a i'm a salute them i'm gonna get them they flowers guys such as myself that was before me yeah. Yeah, yeah, I heard, I, I, and that's dope you said that because the documentaries is, is going down. That's where it's at. I, I was hearing that uh, uh, Mo3, that 50 may be working with, on a Mo3 documentary. That's cool. From what that's I'm cool. hearing. Uh, that's, that's dope. That's what I heard. That's now, I, I ain't seen the, you know, I hear a lot of things. Some of it falls, some of it nosedives. But I did hear that. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. That I mean, it all to be good for the city. For the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm pro city, you know? But that's something that, that, it, it matches up with what you said. Them niggas never had seen this place like that. And right. that's why now, something like yeah, that could happen. Yeah, now they seen it, they know, like, but I'm here to tell them stories that were before. He ain't the first youngster that no. was laid out in the middle of the street. Wow. You know, it's plenty of them. You know, wow. John F. Kennedy, it's plenty, no, yeah. it's plenty, power, yeah. it's plenty of guys yeah. that's been laid out in the middle of the street, and I'm going to get that side of the story. Now, it ain't about just cowboy boots and the white boys and, the you know, the the cowboy cheerleaders now it's some gangster shit that goes on around here and that's where i'm saying the other side of dfw that's the that's the whole thing to show the aspect like how you can't you you don't even know nothing about the city to come tell the story on one individual no, you gotta right. know what this city about to tell the story on any individual no that's one that's really what that's 100 man that's real 100 man i you know and and the thing that that I look at, and I never looked at it from this perspective either, and I never, you know, this is what I'm, you know, I come from the hip a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? When I when I was with Kiki, I asked him, I say, uh, who went in a versus between you and uh, who did I say, and who did I put him up against? Slim Thug. And then when I when I did after that, I said on ESG, I said Lil Flip, and I'm yeah. sitting there trying to figure out who on my ass done Chief if he was in a versus. Who would you know what I'm saying? Man, I'm gonna tell you who who would, who I'm, would I'm gonna, I, and then I think about the songs. Now it's I'm hard, gonna, bro. I'm gonna give you this one. It's hard to even match up somebody, which is what I want to tell you. I'm gonna give you this one. We Kiki. had this. Who you say Kiki? But Kiki. the Kiki already. Yeah, we, the Kiki already. I matched him up already. We had this conversation on my podcast, and uh, uh. Which is Eat Greedy TV. Eat Greedy TV? Yeah. Shout that, out, man. Yeah, Eat Greedy TV. Everybody log in to Dunn Chief YouTube. You'll get some exclusive game. You know, I'm going to have to get you on that, too. Yeah, man. We're going to have to do it. I ain't and, tripping. And, and I'm going to come sit down. Back. I'm going to be they, sitting they, down. They, they ask me the same thing. Yeah, I get you a plate. Who do, I need to, who do I need to set him up with? It can't be Big Tuck. It, it could be. I mean, I can't. I, at the it end could be Big Tuck. The only one I can see is Kiki. I'm going to tell you. I'm saying I, it could be Big Tuck or it could, but see, it's got to be 20 songs though. It's going to be hard. 
It's gonna be hard, That's nigga. That's why I say Kiki. Nigga, you you got to work. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you gotta go get them big boys for me. I'm not trying to be arrogant or nothing like that, but you gotta go get them big boys. Who for you? Me. Who you? Who did you like, go with? I'm just saying, like, like, and then you gotta understand. Anybody that y'all put me up against done had a deal. Yeah, yeah. I've been underground independent. Anybody that y'all go put me up against had a deal machine, radio behind them. So, like, just for that alone, for people to even compare me, like, that let me know, like, I, I mean, I'm going to hold my nuts, but I, you know, I can't expect the whole, like, when you boys done had radio, radio play machines, record deals, and this and that, and I just done came from the hip and boy saying, y'all got to go get y'all big homeboy to fight him. Nah, yeah, he, yeah. nah, he, he probably, he pop one, but y'all gotta get y'all big homeboy because he, he elite. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, everybody y'all pair me up against or, or try to put they had deals. You gotta go yeah. get, yeah. You gotta go get Kiki Roll. You gotta go get them boys like yeah. you know you yeah, like zero. zero. You gotta go get some boys who got zero. a lot of albums and some you know and then once again they all had deals. Yeah, but you still got them bangers though, man. You still got no, them more. I know I do. Go. I know I do. So, oh, it's gonna speak. It's gonna speak that. It's gonna talk that talk to you. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I know I do. No, I, I, and and that's just you know that alone me like you know let me know like you groovy, my guy. Damn. No, I, I get it, man. That, I, I definitely agree with you because you got like certain niggas. You can say, no, nah, he might not have enough songs, or, but I can't. You, you got the songs. You got to. You can set them twenty up albums, hardcore. But no, I'm talking about you can't really when you going against somebody in the verses. It's song for song. I know, man. Then you gotta stand. I'm a cater to the honeys too, man. Ooh, <laughs> like these. Now nah, I'm a cater to the honeys too, man. I got you know I can do ten and ten. That boy got you real, it real well yeah, rounded. Right. Yeah. I can do ten and ten. Ten and ten. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. I, that's why I said it's hard. It's hard to even say who, how you could even pair him up. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I, I, like I said, you just mentioned your uh, your podcast, uh, and we gonna get into the fact that when Sean Cotton came on here, he basically uh, um, it was some had happened. Uh, he was fired. He he came over here to uh, uh, really to get it off his chest that day. He was happy to hear. Yeah, it, to huh? talk about this this whole situation. He was that's, happy. that's crazy. He was real. That was, that hey, was listen, in the candy store. Oh uh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's it, 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 it was it was something I had never seen that energy. But I one thing I can't say about him again. He came on my platform early on like you did. He came. He sat here. He was like, man, let's do it. You know. This God been good to me. I'm gonna say that first. I gotta say that. But at the end of the day, when he came the second time, it was on the. I gotta. I, I want to talk on some things, and I was like, okay, let's do it. And you know what? I I ain't and I ain't checked it out, so yes. I don't know what was said. I'm only getting secondhand information. information. Now yeah. I'm gonna come on because it was on your joint. So I'm it gonna was come on and, my spot. I'm gonna come and ask you because you know. The stuff I'm getting from other folks, you know, it was like he was being disrespectful. I ain't so, gonna, so you know. What you think? Now, if it was some, big, if he was being disrespectful, then you know, I'm gonna handle it in in, in that manner. So I want to know now, what he what, said. What, what, it, what, what did, did he say? What what, what, what what was it? How did it come off? It didn't come out. It can't. Now he did say you was a legend. It, it, it ain't come out disrespectful, but he was like he basically saying he he that he was bigger than you. He was basically saying that he was bigger than you. He oh, was like, I, was, yeah, I get where you yeah, coming he, from he, he with it. He was like, he was like, uh, uh, you a legend in the hood and everything. He's like, you a legend in the streets, but it's like you just, it's, you, it's like it's, it's levels to it. And it's like he he already surpassed that level. That's basically what he was trying to say. But it wasn't no disrespectful way. But if how some people in there put it, you would think they were putting disrespectful way. But so, it wasn't disrespectful. Yeah, so what that. was the question to make it him really? Even it say it that. really was a thing on. Uh, it really, let's be real about it. It was a thing where. Charleston and him, I guess had, I guess they y'all had him come on your podcast because right. I didn't know nothing about it really right. when it started. I, yeah. I had heard certain things like you. I was so focused on Boss Talk 101 that I hadn't seen it, I hadn't heard it, I ain't know nothing about it to be real with you. But then he explained it to me, you know, that he came and it, it was almost like when he came over there uh, to do the podcast, he didn't come. He thought they were coming to, he, it was two oh, yeah, guys over 40. Yeah, that's what he said. Two guys that was over forty, he thought he'd be coming to talk about cryptocurrency or or or, or in it, you know some bitcoins like and stuff like that. Not about the fact that he didn't uh, 
about the not about the fact that he didn't play your music on say cheese or something that some that you and him had he had felt like issues he was interrogating with. him. He felt like he was being interrogated. Yeah. That's okay, so exactly what was said. So okay, so with that being said, uh me and Charleston, uh yeah, he was coming on. We had the podcast. He was coming on, kind of co-hosting it with me. But we already knew what 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 it was, you know. Like I told him, like, hey, they fucking with you. Them boys scared to fuck with me, but you fuck with me. Okay. So with that being said, this is what I need, you know. Shit, come rock with me on the Eat Greedy TV, you know. Let's play the game a little bit, you know, and get them boys to come and sit and holler at me. So, so you saying if he since he was with you, you be rocking with them, bring the nigga over here. At the end like of the that. day, like I mean, they now they wouldn't go. Like I had, I had rainwater. I had say cheese to come through. You, you know, were bringing I, different yeah, people I'm bringing through. Different people, people. And this because I didn't know this was your podcast. Yeah, it's me. I mean, they know they coming into my world. It's called okay. E Greedy TV. Okay, you know, like they wasn't going to like. I mean, yeah, he told them exactly who they coming to sit with and chill with the whole ambiance and everything. So with that being said, like you know, for him to say that. Like he knew where he was coming, like you know, and that's why I want people to tune in to the podcast. That I'm dropping the episodes, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I seen get to, one. They'll get to see. Listen, you know, because what's crazy to me is how you go come to my come, you know, come to my world, and he he and high high with me, and then leave me, and then go and call somebody else and say, man, I want to go and talk. I want to come. Nah, I didn't know it was a problem when you left. You were eating my food. We we dabbed it up, and you, hey, next week, I'm going to give you your interview. Nah, I'm, a, I'm just finna cash my receipts. You know what I'm saying? Like, you came on there like you didn't know you was, like, you didn't fuck with a nigga, but when you was in front of me, you was just, you know, you was, you was, you know, you was open ears and open arms and wanted to say, yes, sir, big chief, no, sir, big chief type shit. You know what I'm wow. saying? So, you know, with that being said, he knew he was coming over to see chief. Charleston told him that specifically, just like he told Rainwater. It's just that, you know, I mean, I don't know where the, the, where it got out of bounds that you coming into my world, yeah, you go come and talk about me. You know, we talked about a variety of things, but yeah. you just decided to pick out one part. Yeah, we got yeah. a whole hour and 30, 45 minutes of what we just congregating on, but at the end of the day, it was really a way how Charleston threw, a, a, threw an alley to me on like, hey, I know them boys scared to come and get in front of you. I'm, I know they fuck with me since they fuck with me and I fuck with you. Shit, I'ma help you let them help them boys to come and get front of you. It wasn't on no, you know, no, no dry messy things. It was on some, hey man, now nah, Charles to fuck with my music. Now nah, yeah, he yeah. like before he was ever fucking with Say Cheese or ever fucking with me or fucking with Wayne Water, he was jamming Don Chief music, Big Chief music. So he been a music of the, he been a fan of the music before I ever met him. So, you know, us getting together was kind of just like mutual feelings. I was like, shit, I see Buddy rocking out with me and he got the platform and he he the only one rocking out with me. I can't get a rapper to holler me out. I can't get nobody, but I got a nigga who everybody talking about. He waking up smoking a Big Chief, drink, drinking his coffee to Big Chief. So, you know, shit. And then he messed with my guy Dewberry and, you know, he just in introduced so he like shit let me introduce to my boy Charles man he fuck with I was like man that's cool and we just you know hit it off personally like that for us the podcast we politicking we playing the game you know at, when you when you rock out with it you gonna see he ain't the Charleston white that everybody else see he gonna be in my world yeah yeah you know what I'm yeah, saying? no, no, definitely, man. That, that's the dope part about it. It's really what you're saying that y'all just came together to do. We just a came together. We just came together. So you know, and, and and my aim on my podcast is to really talk about the hip hop culture. So the reason why we was probably talking about me is because I'm a part of the hip hop culture. You, he's a part of the hip hop culture, and I'm asking them questions like, "Hey, what's the deal, yo?" You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I'm a cash in. I want to cash in my favors because I feel like you owe. Yeah. Now you say you bigger than me, but my name been before yours. Yeah. So how did it start out for us between you and him? How did you you first meet Cotton? <laughs> how I first met yeah. him was the the same way the same thing he just said. I could have came on there and been like, shit, that nigga ain't had no platform. I ain't need to do no interview for that nigga. I'm bigger than him. When he first when you first no, met him. When I first met, him, I could have told my guy like, nah, man, I ain't finna let that nigga. That nigga ain't got shit. How many views he got? How many subscribers he got? Man, I'm bigger than that nigga. I ain't, yeah, he ain't shit. Why I'ma do an interview for him? I didn't do him like that. I told him come on to the hood, my guy. 
pulled yeah. up on me. So he pulled up on you. No, and did he that pulled up on me. No, this seven eight years ago. Yeah, I know. Go go look at any of his views and shit. Seven eight years ago, he wasn't nobody. Yeah. No, I'll say she wasn't shit. Okay. So back then it was just it was it was I done mean, it was I done mean, it was I'm big chief the 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 podcast and then that, that part that of the game even, wasn't yeah. even he was just trying we were still selling CDs and shit okay yeah no no that makes sense because that's a that's he was he was just still trying but I didn't come to him I didn't give him that energy I didn't tell him nah I'm like cool come on fam you from the city. I'm going to fuck with you, man. Do your thing. I ain't charge you nothing. And I know that you is a nigga who normally can't get at me. Yeah, now, back I, then. now, you a nigga who normally can't touch me. So, But I didn't treat you like that. I could have gave you them vibes. No, no. 100, man. But you want to get... So, he's the prime example of a nigga you don't want to fuck with. See, he's the prime example of a, of a cat who will goddamn me change up on you. He'll let the money make him. This is what he said. He came over here and just said that this and that, but he on my goddamn me podcast and he said, yo, 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 yo interview was one of my first biggest interviews. Okay. Yeah, I gotta check that interview out because I ain't seen it. I seen that one you No, did. but when he go, but now I got him on my shit telling the world now. Yeah. You gonna drop yo, you already no, dropped it. I'm dropping it next week. This week coming up. I'm gonna drop all the I'm gonna drop okay. it. But I seen that first when it first. said that it was like you pressed him. Nah, uh, and uh, I was what giving, was that what was that title? I, dang, it said nah, what I, you I checked him. You, you nah, checked, I checked him. Yeah. Nah, I checked him in the sense when of you said that, what did you mean by that though? In the sense of like you coming on her plan. Don Chief checks say cheese on principle. Now you come you coming on her plan like you done forgot. Now you ain't forget. Oh, you you just that big. You got now it's some people in life and you do like you don't forget no matter how big you get. Like it's some people, it's some things you don't forget. You know what I'm saying? And you don't forget the ones who who help you get your first shits going and like now nah, it was I know at the at the, at the, at the end at the, at the end of the day around yeah. that time I was probably, I was the biggest thing he could 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 have came to and talked to in Dallas Fort Worth on that vibe. And you open arms. You was open arms to it. And he and, and he said it. So for him to come and you know leave from me on some we cool because after that was just on some big brother hollering at a little brother like nah little bro I'm disappointed in you on that part. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't on no checking them like I'm charging them up. It was on some, nah, you wrong, playboy. Like, nigga, I was calling you. You got my number just like you text me the other day when you when I just yeah, dropped when you, that. Yeah. When I just dropped I, that. I number. need that, yeah, yeah the, the text. You, but you text me. Nah, my number been the same ever since I've been talk, trying to get back at you. My number been the same. So when he texts you, what was the text about? <laughs> Man, I I really I didn't even reply because I like I looked at it, I was like, damn. <laughs> I like that nigga crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said he ain't even like that. He ain't he tripping. He talking about, you know, nigga, you impress me, nigga. I mean you didn't check me, nigga, no cap, you know, and uh he say, uh, Charleston White invited me on that old weak ass podcast. And I'm like, damn, you know, like shit. If that's the case, you felt that way when you were coming. Damn. Now you felt that way you when you were coming, and you know I don't know what where where they get in the in the in the in the aspects of like what make you bigger than me because you got more followers than me. I mean, what part makes him big? Like it's I hard see, to gauge I'm it like to, that. I'm He's huge see. when it come down to that aspect of but, what but, goes on on the internet for a say cheese he probably number six but what impact does he got what influence he got on the culture what he doing for the people no he ain't no nah, I, I got real deal people that come to me and be like nigga what you did for us really gave a nigga hope nigga you have you inspire now nah, what inspiration he done did like so i'm trying to see where he yeah. i mean where he bigger than me at like what cause can he make the world he really he ain't changed nobody life he ain't did nothing for the city no, nah, he ain't right. changed nobody life. When you he ain't put nobody on. Check this out, man. That dude just like the news. Not to get get wrong, I respect you because you put you bringing in more of the low. You bringing artists I and rappers. You, 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 you bring like that nigga drop. Like he just dropping content. He 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 down there. He down there promoting boy the crash out instead of cash out. Yeah. 
No, he meaning wow. he say he right, ain't messing right. with me because I'm not doing nothing crazy. No, nah, I'm an artist. I'm an entertainer, fam. I'm not here to pull stunts, baby. Like you know, I'm here to give you some good music and, and video. Co like shit, if that if that ain't good enough for you, then that's cool. I might not be for you, you know. And that's why you know not to take it from nobody else. Now nah, I tell Charles, so now nah, you bigger than say cheese, bro. They using you. Like he just using like he using you for all the stuff. And I get it, man. Get your money on. Get your paper on, fam. I ain't, I ain't tripping, but nah, he bigger than them. It was a thing where he actually was like, Charleston is so big that he, it, and, and it's like you had already done your thing, and Charleston is a bigger, like in a bigger place, and he shouldn't be uh, basically. Back down. Yeah, it, right? Exactly so, what you mean, I mean, back down. And, and, and how you, what kind of man tells another man what to do? Like, at the end of the day, listen to what I said. Before I met Charleston, he was jamming that Chief music. Now he, go look at his shit. Look at them dates. I hadn't met him. So you didn't know him before he rocked with your Bro, music? He, he like met, me, I yeah. rocked with your music so before of, I knew before you. Before you know, so it's like, you know, for, for and, and with that being said, if you rock with my music, you rocking with me as an individual, you fuck with mm -hmm. me as a person. So I'm a fan, like, like if I'm, I'm, I'm really like, I fan out to the fact of I love your music when you bring, like if you drop something and it's something popping and I can get to it, I'm going to look for that. So I, even if, if you hadn't never came in the door. But listen what I'm saying, he's saying that, but no, before Charleston met me, he was a fan of me. No, so the, it was that was a mutual, a uh, mutual thing. Like I, I'm like shit, nigga. I see you fucking around, you doing your thing, and you fucking with the dumb nigga, and you you fuck with niggas from West Dallas. My he yeah. fuck like so, but for say cheese to be like he shouldn't be messing with me. Like how you gonna tell that man that? And this man is a fan, fam. He been rocking with a nigga. Have you since? Cause they 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 I, they started back rocking. Uh, have you talked to Charleston or have y'all still y'all still been rocking out? Now I don't even know what was said. Now you know what me and Charleston talked before. I think before Say Cheese came on here and he told me that you know Say Cheese stopped talking to him because he came over there. He told me all that there, but I didn't know that. And 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 I was like with me and Charleston talk. I was like you know that wasn't what we was on. So I really didn't pay it no yeah. mind. I didn't really take t like like nigga that wasn't what we was on. We had a good interview. Like I listen, <laughs> man. I, no I, man, I, 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 I be having a good time, man. <laughs> so you can't get caught up <laughs> yeah. in that old like I'm, I, I'm, I'm on some. I'm on some and plus like, Charleston go he go hard with the with the with the, the interview be right, nigga. But but Charleston wasn't thing. even doing the interview. It no was more no, me. I heard you on this last clip. It was like you and him. You was doing most of the talking, really. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and even with Charlie, like, you know, I ain't rap with him. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean, like, I ain't rap with him, but shit, somebody just told me shit the other day. He was rock waking up to that chief. You know what I'm saying? Nope, so, nope. evidently, he might have did take Say Cheese advice and just stop fucking with him, but you can't cut me off because you never cut me on. Now, okay. that's, that's square being that's you know so nobody can cut me the fuck off you dig I mean yeah, I'm, I cut my own cell phone you know what I'm saying but I don't think that just because we ain't rapping the taste no more he go stop not playing that done cheap nigga he fuck with that yeah. you know what I mean he doing I ain't go like him and, yeah, and if that's the reason why say cheese will stop fucking with him cause he mess with me that'll be petty because at the end of the day when I'm coming here I'm like I ain't got no problem with say cheese yeah. Like I'm on some pro city shit, but you on some you too big to mess with a nigga. Like how can you be too big to mess with a nigga when you? I was one of them trampolines you jumped off of. Yeah, yeah, cause I definitely I rocked out to your music before. No, but I gave you your first interview. I was that trampoline. Now I help you. So how can you? How can you come and say you too big and you know uh, uh, nobody shouldn't be fucking with me because like what well, I mean where that come from and, and what kind of that's what females do go and tell other girl don't talk to her because I'm mad at her. Yeah, yeah, them females will do that. Now and he was happy to tell it. Huh? Up, he was happy to tell it. Yeah, yeah and, he was happy. Like and I'm like you know you came and ate my food you know you can't no you came and got up under that pressure though because of what, what I was asking you and telling you you didn't have no answer for. Yeah. No you no you probably do you is one of them niggas who think you too big but nigga you'll get a reality check. Wow. So when you when you were talking to him because it, it it was it was a thing that I heard about it but I didn't tune in I'm not for the sit here and play I don't 
I ain't finna say I watched it. I heard about it because y'all popular as hell. You know what I mean? You, him, Charleston, y'all all was over there. And I would hear Nick, Nick was talking like, man, they, they, uh, 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 Sean Cotton and, uh, Don Chief was talking about, you know, he didn't play him on, you know, I heard this stuff. So it had to be on the live or something. Y'all were going back and forth. Some kind of way this, this was hitting the internet. I right. do know that. Right. What I was just asking, well, I was like, shit, why you was acting like, I mean, I'm calling you, you, but he, I'm so busy, I don't answer calls, you know, my secretary got to do this and that, that and this, and I'm like. But he say he bad on getting back to you working on that, he too. Work, he, I mean, he say he working on trying, that's what he told you. us here. But he takes me, though. You. No, he takes me man. soon when he feels some kind of pressure, but when I was te- just asking, hey, what's up on that interview, you didn't reply. No, nah, but I get it because for some reason he got them young niggas got that resentment toward a nigga like a nigga didn't do something for them or something. Yeah, this whole game, man, that internet game is it's different, man. Nah, you want me to go and compromise myself? I live in the real world, little bro. So now nah, I'm not finna do all that fool, that foolish shit just to goddamn me for you to for you to goddamn me post me. Nah, and if you have, since you you stayed telling me young look, y'all got a little homie kill. Y'all whoop y'all every time everything went on. Y'all you posting when trap go to jail. You you niggas doing anything for views? Y'all ain't posting these boys music. Nah, I ain't never seen. I don't see say cheese posting trap now. I don't see him posting no, and I, that's what I'm on. I'm like, fam, like, she, what you doing for the city, though? No, I, I, I got what you, I felt what you were saying the other day because you had me thinking. Like the other day, I was telling him, like, man, I'm gonna start doing some different things to try to promote the new music when it come out. And I'm that's asking you because know you had hit I, me. I was the same yeah, hit me. I, I just then I, I was just telling, I was just Instagram saying that. that. And this is what like, I'm on. I, we gotta figure I'm out a way to do that to this, promote the new this the new sounds. This what I'm on. We could. Our city got more bloggers in the the a south lot, a lot than, than damn near anybody mm-hmm. and we got and our bloggers got got some got some you know got some got some Traction. more power yeah, doing you know some motion so with that being said i be like i look at it from the outside looking in i be like man we with us with us having all these bloggers i see it's supposed to be up up when I say up, up, it's supposed to be three, four, five artists jumping all at one time right now because we got three, four, five bloggers that, that can put they, set, they dumbbells together collectively and put their mood, motion together collectively and blow up three, four, five different artists because y'all controlling the goddamn me, the media. Y'all controlling what they see and instead of just putting nothing but the current events and the drama shit, they throw some of that, music, some in that there. music in there. Put them boys what, and interview these boys. But, Come bring niggas on and let them break their music. And now keep you. I understand you want to get your likes and your bites, but you know, goddamn, he throw that music in there. I you ain't gonna get more likes with original music anyway. With but when I stuff. think about it though, like 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 Sean say cheese is the, when it come down to that that aspect of it, putting eyes on somebody. He has the capability half paint. They are the ones who pretty Hand much. Paint, he do it. Both of them have that. That they the ones. They, but, they the ones nah, that. Now nah, say she's too busy putting out Charleston, and what Charleston doing? He ain't trying to break nobody. Man, long as he can get Charleston to, 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 to talk on some current event and go wild and and break that boy. That's all he worried about. He ain't trying to put no, nobody and say you so called saying you got record labels talking. Why is they talking? about Charleston and not about no artists, my nigga. You talking about a, a regular label want to talk to Charleston about some entertainment? He's on his vibe. Like, that's crazy to me. Nigga, you, like, you ain't even promoting no music. You promoting the whole person who on some, you know, a uh, uh, philanthropist thing, some activist thing. You know, he, I, I get the, uh, you know, all the, the, the gimmicks he do on, online, but as far as what he on, he giving back to his community. You don't, you don't put none of that shit out. Yeah. Now you go tell him to act a fool so you can get them numbers. You want him to, you know, get, you know, you want the Charleston White. You know what I'm saying? So he not trying to break nobody, but you so called got the avenue to the to New York the labels. You ain't trying to break no music, my guy. You know, when when you look at the things that, that we do have the capability of doing. Man, we can uh, I'm, I I'm, can I'm gonna say, up. man, you know, like even when, when Charleston was over, I'll never forget the time, you know, we went and spoke at the uh at the deal, me, my wife and all us and, and, and when the kids would get out, we we did we gave kids clothes right, and stuff right, out of here. Right. Was uh, he there? We tried to, huh? Was he there? Did he post that? Who? Say G. No, no. Just me and Charleston okay. did this. And you can go back and look. The episodes is up. Uh, the thing, that that was the part of it that, that I enjoyed, to be honest with you. 
um, not only that, we, it just basically we did talk about a lot of other stuff to do with the industry because it's sauce. But at the end of the day, we did do some real thing with those kids. I know that for a fact, and and I don't regret it one day. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it's all about. You're right. You know what I'm saying? And the music, the music aspect of it is what what put what's putting these. I mean, I'm a Pimp C fanatic. I talk about Pimp C so much, just the way that he was and his legacy and 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 what it, his music done for me. You know what I'm saying? Cause that was my era, right? Right. You know, right. and when I see certain times and people, look, his kids look at this or whoever, I want to be them to be able to look and say, "Hey, man, he doing, you know, he he telling the stories and the bobos come on here and all that." Just trying to make sure that the story being told right. But I'm a fan of his, just like I'm a fan of yours. This is what you saying, the story, yeah. like, now how can a person be mad at me for trying to tell my story? Your story heavy too. Like that's what's wrong. Like the young niggas want to sweep. All the the shit before him up under like it never happened like it never was like you should be honored to talk about a nigga like me. No, I definitely, I definitely enjoy it. No, he should be now as a young nigga who done who I'm saluting. I'm saluting you, but you wanna throw, you wanna try to stump on me, but I'm a giant. Like I'm a, that, and that's the that's the difference between Dallas. And, now he's a North Arlington nigga. That's what he told me. Now I don't know nobody from North Arlington, but they act like that. That's some whole ass shit. Them some whole ass niggas over there in North Arlington. If y'all ain't like y'all breeding them kind of niggas, y'all need to go on on, man. That's why you niggas revolt from the motherfucking city, man. That's why that nigga can't let you know you don't like like real talk. Like if you go act like that, fam, that's some punk shit. You know, no nigga you don't deserve to be talked about like we be. Nah, nigga, I salute you. I, I'm proud of you, my guy. Nah, but, I'm proud of you. It's just like you know that shit was crazy to me because I didn't even get to see it. But I'm hearing what you're saying, and I'm like, no, nah, it, it we definitely. Didn't get the, that, the, we didn't, the, I didn't get that vibe when we was talking because it was more like, yeah, Yo, you. A le How you go call me a legend? But then again, be like, nah, I understand his levels. No, no, he no. said he said you was a, a legend, but there's levels to it, basically, right? Well, yep. Yeah, I mean, so what? I mean, in what level of where he think he at? Now, don't get me wrong. Probably in New York, he probably more known and recognized in the aspect of social media and that and that. But like to what count in in the culture? To the culture. See, we talking about to the culture. That nigga ain't shit. That nigga obsolete. Yeah, that nigga a peon. When it comes to the culture. Nah, when it comes to the culture, that nigga a peon. Nigga, how dare you? Nah, and that shit begin at the culture. With the culture of this shit, like, that's what's wrong with them. That's why, like, nigga, you messing with niggas who don't really identify because you ain't identified with the culture, nigga. You scared yeah. to come and sit down with boys. Nah, you just, nigga, you, knew, you thought Charleston had a nigga under control. Nah, a nigga could have turned the heat up on your little pussy ass, but a nigga wasn't on that counter time. So, like, he moved with that, making sure, is it is the coast clear? Nah, you not really connected with the coast. You scared, playboy. So, how, how was the, when the end, how nah, was the. Nah, nigga was ready to go. I was just for that. Nah, how was the energy, nah, so, you know what I so, mean? So, what it was, I knew he was ready to go. So, I initiated. I know what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with a look. Catty cat, kitty cat. You know what I'm saying? So I had to, and I know they perception of me. I, he don't know me from a can of paint. He only heard of me. So he don't know, he only going off all the stories he done heard. And I'm admit to him, like, I asked him, what do you know about me? He was like, eh. he was like, he like a little kid. He like, I heard you had a Rolls Royce. And, uh, so he didn't pull up on you in the hood. I thought at nah, first. I, I took him to uh, 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 out there in uh, Key, Legacy West. Out there, up, up the tollway, you know, okay. it's a cool shit. Yeah, you know, well, uh, see, I yeah, know exactly yeah. So doing. like, now nah, he like he don't know me, so I wasn't tripping on that. I'm like, nigga, how? Like, 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 I get it, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I really get it. You know what I'm saying? You give a little success to a person who who really ain't identified or been through too much or nothing. Who, you know, I get him. That's cool. He had a father and a mother. That's groovy. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't going to be able to relate to, you know, he, we teaching him. He was, he really te getting learned. He really learning when he doing this shit. He getting educated. Do you think that you, if, if, cause people change, would you and him be able to ever sit down and talk about like uh, after this, after all has been said? I, but it, all I'm saying is what I say to his face. Like we groovy. Like you, you said you got offensive on me, like you tried to belittle me. I ain't never tried to belittle you. I, I, the, the, the whole 
sit down was the you know hey man let's let's come together because at the end of the day y'all still got to come and rock out with me when you come from here i'm a part of this culture this legacy this dallas fort worth shit so it ain't no way y'all gonna be missing me as long as i'm out here working Y'all yeah. gonna have to come, so you gonna have to come and see me regardless, and I'd rather you come and see me, and we rap a taste, and we, you know, we come it out instead of, you know, it being like this, or this, but I thought that's what we did. Yeah, you, you thought it was pretty much done and over with. I was waiting on my say cheese. You and thought you were gonna do some, a set, y'all gonna hey, switch it back. You know, let's talk about this, you know, but, no, nah, that wasn't, you know, he was on some, fuck that nigga. I'm bigger than him, Charles, and we bigger than him. It was like, damn, what you was mad? Like, did I do something to you? I didn't fuck you. I ain't there nothing to you. Want I didn't do nothing. Well, like, it, it was, I think I, and I'm just going back on what I'm, I'm remembering as this interview is going on. It was like the week before that, he had said that he had heard Rainwater had walked out of y'all's interview. This is what, I, I wouldn't know because I wasn't over there, but I, that's what was said on here. Yeah, he so said that. that's what it was. So did Rainwater walk out on y'all interview? Nah, yeah, that's crazy because... Yeah, he just uh, now nah, he's a he's a media guy. Yeah, he's a media guy. Now nah, I got I got Ray whole, didn't walk out. I got listen. He was nervous too. I just broke the ice because you gotta understand these cats ain't been trying to see me. They don't now nah, they feel like how they feel like now nah, it's on us. It's oh you know Rain them had they feelings with him and Mo. You know now I see say cheese had they so it's like you know for some reason it's like they all had a a certain kind of you know like a, a certain kind of already make up with with dealing with me but yet they still came and fuck with me why because they fuck with charleston and in charleston fuck with chief so they on some oh she anything charleston fuck with, we go fuck with even if they didn't want to fuck with it See, that's fake in itself. But I didn't trip on it. I knew what I messed with some little boys, some little kids. These niggas still got growing to do. So I was just being a big brother, knowing what kind of little homies, little bros I was playing with. So now nah, I need y'all to feel me now. We don't never have to mess around again because y'all ain't going to make me nor break me up. You don't post me. I'm still groovy. I'm still good. It's just, like, I mean, nigga, you ain't, nigga, you ain't, uh, on no real you your your platform my new two you ain't goddamn me really just like them breakfast clubs and them you know eighty five salves and shit nigga you ain't no nah, you ain't interviewing them kind of niggas no nah, you posted a lot of current events no nah, your biggest nigga is Charles from that and he ain't even in the time you ain't posting no nigga in the other nigga who no nah, you ain't posting no big rappers and nothing them boys them other niggas getting them big names. No, oh, they man. getting them big boys come through there and fuck with him. He ain't getting them big boys. Right. No, nah, he ain't getting them. So, but a nigga ain't going to shit on them like that, though. Nigga going to be like, nigga, you groovy, but you ain't just big. Wow. Nigga, you Texas. Nigga, you love, you, your main Texas, nigga. So it's, it's it's some more growth potential out there. for. But he got all, he just had, went over a million uh, subscribers. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I'm just, that's cool. I just know that because the other day, man, nigga ain't doing no Gilly the Kid now. That's cool. Yeah, Gilly them, Gilly them just they think they. I'm just saying, these boy, these niggas ain't doing what Nori. He he got that same kind of bun sway, that motion. He ain't playing like that. Nah, he don't want to play the big boy game. He too busy want to get people to be guilt. Oh, show your guns, nigga. Such and such went to jail today for. Now nah, he ain't trying to break nobody. He ain't trying to see the big picture. Now nah, that's probably why they won't really give him that cut, that check because he ain't seeing the big picture. Yeah, yeah. So do you? Nah, nah he came to his things. He not came. Nah, yeah, he get them young folk. The yeah, younger so, okay. he came to like now, the younger check this group. Now And I say this, check this. After out. Charleston is mostly the Listen. young guys, right? Yeah. I, prime is that I'm a grown man. So I know what vibe I'm on probably ain't your speed for your people. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get them to cash out. So they probably ain't trying to hear me talking about, hey, youngster, you know, you know, it's still, you can still be cool and not goddamn be, be a fool and look smooth. You can still get it and, and look fly with it. But, you know, now nah, I'm not going to tell you, you know, you know, mask up, put your, put your, your mask on and this and that, op out, this. Now nah, that ain't what I'm pushing. So, you know, his fan base probably not, may not be for me because I'm on a mature level. Now, and not to say that, now, now, once again, he don't post the shit that Charles to be on, the game relate. He don't post him and Dewberry. No, he ain't never posted him and Dewberry shit where it got, you know, all the, 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 the people coming from the penitentiaries and, you know, got testimonies. and He ain't posting that, but he'll post Charleston by himself when he do all the antics. Wow. So, 
what what um and, and I hate to even get out of but what uh what's the uh is there any projects coming out? Man, Anything? we got this. I got the movie. For, I'm talking about as far as the music. You know, I'm, I'm waiting on the movie. Go come with music. It, it goes okay. hand in hand. So that's gonna be a soundtrack world. I'm inviting the whole city. It ain't go, but it's just be produced and executive produced by me. I got my my guys hustle holic entertainment. You know, like I we got a project coming together. So I got a couple projects coming out with different individuals that you know we just congregate and I'm, i you know we 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 playing team ball you know what i'm saying so i got me and little running you know man, man little running just talking yeah. about you being a legend on here nah that's just nah, talking about listen, that we was listen man it's some because i be hearing niggas say well you know uh when you speak on the city like i keep saying when you came through that door you can't speak on dallas without speaking about the little running mother elves, the Don Chiefs, the big tugs. Yeah, the, most the, it, it's a so, it's some solid most dudes in this city that really put this music down in a way, man. The 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 Tom Toms. I, I respect Tom Tom right. and his run. The Puka Leroy. I gotta give Puka a shout out. Now, listen, you know what I'm saying? Us, uh, all, all of us. Who, all Lucci, of us, all Mr. Pookie, all man, they, us, man, all y'all boys, man, make up this whole scenario. Not to not mention uh, uh, Yella, like you said earlier, nah, and all Yella BZ, Trap Bar Freddy. This whole thing, man, like I said, my thing is to try to figure out a way to where we can bring something together to where it can push up. I'm going to be real. And it don't have to be y'all out here hanging out, shaking hands together either. That's why niggas get it twisted. It can be a thing to where we organize to where people can see the city in a way to where they can understand we got some banging music and some banging you know people. What? That's what but we doing th now. We we just got to understand everybody ain't going to be with it. We just got to deal with the ones that are doing it. Me and Lil Ronnie. I got Tay Money on the joint. Tay Money on the joint? Yeah, I'm, I, I, got, I, got I got a people now. I've been trying got, to get Tay on here. I got, over, Tay her on. On, I got Tay Money on the joint. Like, we going to have to just, we going to do it. You know, like, she, I fuck with Lil CJ Casino out there. You what know, about like, Lil Earl? You, be, I, I you see Lil Earl? I, I, I ain't never remember. I fuck like with it, yeah. I, I fuck with all of them because they pushing. They bringing fun back into it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and as you can see right now, our music industry is like our music scene is dead. Now listen. Have you listened to Big X the plug? Dead. I mean, I should be. Have you ever heard of him? I ain't never heard of. Him. Man, go check Big X out. I always tell know. everybody that because he young, he ain't done nobody nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's he good. do some good music, That's good. man. But I shit dead, and I'm like, man, why nobody ain't capitalizing? Like we got a lane. Like the youngsters got a lane wide open, and the the city got eyes all on them, and it's like nobody giving nobody nothing to look at. Like especially coming from the streets you know what i'm saying and when i say from the streets meaning just being able to connect with it you ain't gotta be on no gangster shit to to cater to the streets you know what i'm saying look yeah. at drake yeah <laughs> i'm talking about yeah okay yeah they got yeah, to do be it on no gangster shit to cater to the streets you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah. so it's like you know don't get the misperception when a nigga saying the streets now the streets is just the culture where the the core at you know what i'm saying yeah that's yeah. The, the music of the 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 the, 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 the core of the music is in the streets no, you right. No, it's man. not the internet. It's not the. It's not the. No, it's the streets. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. Every, like I said, the, the, I just, I guess it's hard for me. I know that where you at now. Like when, when I think about people with good music, and I think it was somebody on here, and I hate to say it while you on here. Somebody said that they didn't like the way Scarface rap. They like got put out my truck on the way coming from. Little but Rock it ain't gonna be for everybody. Who was it? Who was me. it? What, was it you? Yeah. Nah, it ain't yeah, gonna, he gonna be. He likes to be everybody. put out. It ain't gonna be for everybody. Yeah, I know though. it. But you know, I'm a hardcore old school nigga. I think the nigga ain't never did a bad verse. And this nigga right here, almost, you know, he. It, and when I listen, he, he I ain't say, never really just tapped in either. He just like, talking. Some yeah. stuff I just can't get jiggy with. Man, yeah, it's just like you never. He talking about pimp one listen, day and like, never, I didn't know. I didn't I, raise on the music. Bro, I say nigga, please. I, I never argue with a boy, a person about Michael Jordan against anybody. Yeah, yeah. Now you, I get. I won't do it because it's it's gonna be hard because I'm not. I ain't seen nobody better than Jordan. Yeah, I I ain't seen Jordan. Like you might got somebody before me talking about Dr. J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real so talk. I'm not gonna do it. So when it comes to the music, I be like, man, they making music for. They era, they age group. Young yeah. boy, young boy ain't making no music for me. He making music for my nephew and them. So I can't look to get my joy out of his music and then be just, no, that's not what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I definitely understand that. Just different eras too. Yeah, it's just different. So I love messing with him because I- want my era no way. Who? No, uh, face wasn't your era. No, he wasn't neither him or Pimp C. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you was born well, in 90, wasn't you? Pimp T, though. You was born yeah. in 90? Yeah, 90. I listen to yeah. Pimp C. <laughs> 
I had to listen to Pimp C. I listened to Boosie. Nah, see, he gonna come up in Chief Era. Yeah, I yeah. listen to you. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. He, he, say, gonna, he say yeah, he did. Like, he I'm from Louisiana, but I listen to you. Anyway. That one, that's that what I'm saying. Like ninety, like them yeah. gonna be Boosie, Jeezy's, and yeah, that's that's exactly what it was. Yeah, that's 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 exactly what it was. That's, 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 exactly that's, was. that's yeah. what we. The, that's when the street music came. Yeah, yeah. Now that's the real street music when you know all that shit. You had, you know, don't get me wrong. The boogie was still there. You know, Laffy Taffy, this and that, but that's when that music, that, that, that street shit got introduced into the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, like, shit, I got plenty of music. I got still got shit that I ain't dropped yet that I'm finna start just dropping exclusively on the YouTube channel. Just, I'm gonna start doing sessions, just letting the, letting the people get a load of all the shit that I've been sitting on and just, shit, get it. Let me ask you this, cause back in the day when you, I know when, uh, when, when Birdman came to the station, uh, Bebe, Bebe was a nigga that was tapping in with you. Facts. Is it? Is, does he still tap in with you, or he don't mess with you no more? No, you know what? Check this out. Let's be real. Bebe go pick up when I call. He always do. He go pick up when Boy, I call. Boy, listen, man, that's dope. See that? Tell me where people' mindset is. If you yeah, call, he go pick up when I call. I mean, up. like, like, like now. No matter how much he been fucking with Dolph. Yeah. Fifty. Ricky. No, he pick up when I call. What's up, bro? What's up, I'm how you doing? What, what's up, baby? What's up? Nah, you gonna pick up when I call, you dig? So, like, shit, nigga, you, what, what's the difference between you? That's what's So, right. well, let me ask you this. What about, like, back, I just think about your era. Like, uh, Rock T and all these different people they had, they you couldn't get around Dun, Dun Chief, Big Chief back then. Mm -mm. Uh, those people moved out, though. Some of them went to different places, different stations. I wonder, they still know who you is. They still rock with you. They have to. It's just that I also... Out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of working. mind. But I ain't holding nobody on to the gun off of me not being working. I'm saying, now nah, y'all see me working now, I can't get that love. Like y'all that big now, I can't get, I can't get that same reciprocate. Like, yeah, I nah, I ain't, I ain't on no y'all. Oh, I'm like, I'm working now. Yeah. Nah, I'm working now. I'm that same nigga that nigga invited you. You, nah, I'm that same nigga you came and sat in front of who probably broke bread. I'm him. So y'all, I ain't getting that same love back. And I live all. That's where the principles, the morals was coming in. I'm like, I ain't switch up on you. I ain't gonna switch up. But y'all to switch up on me now, nah, baby. I ain't switched up on me. Now nah, it's been since he. Now nah, I invited him here when he first came here. I I introduced him here. It was it was Chief who he was rocking with. The role he rocked without, but now nah, when it came to the not nah, with Chief. Now nah, the nigga who introduced him to the street, the the street culture, the people. That would be Chief. Man, you know, and I I, I really no no cap. I want to see everybody come together. I, that, I gotta say that I want to see the whole thing come together, including me and all of the bloggers, all the interviewers. It'll be dope. And I, and because he It'll one of them dope. guys that got a lot of people's attention on his platform. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of traction now that people been watching. It'll be you dope, know what I'm bro. saying? It'll for be us dope. to come together because he come do these interviews for me too. You know what I'm It'll saying? He'll pull up when he feel to pull up on Boss Talk, just like you. And to be honest with y'all, both dope as hell. You a person that. Your legacy is untouch. Your legacy is untouchable to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like him, he one that came. I just mentioned his name the other night when we was in Arkansas. Yeah. But he's one that to, to me is like when when the this whole world started. When I ain't know nothing about him, I was I was still watching you to be honest with you. But he made people understand who he was and his element. So I gotta give him that. And then when he came here to do the interview, I was excited just like I was when you came. I was right. like. I had asked Charles. I'm like, man, you think that nigga interview? Because it was Char it was Charleston that really brought him over. They interviewed in here, and when he came here, we he basically said, man, we'll get him over there, just like he did you. Listen, just man. like he did you, he and, did him the same and way. That's why I'm a salute, homie. Like, I know, nah, he playing the game. Yeah, he throwing alley oops. Nah, yeah. he'll focus. He brought him over here. Nah, he throwing alley oops. Yeah, nah, I'm just one of them nigga go dunk that bitch. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Nah, I'm a dunk that bitch. <laughs> right. Nah, them nah, niggas, nah, too, them, nah, bring them niggas, let them niggas come get beside me. Let me let me smell them because they been acting too good for me. And it's evident they felt like they was too good for me. Yeah. No, nah, it was evident he felt like, fuck all that. I ain't I gotta get good communication. No, nah, you really feel like you too good for me. I'm not worth taking the call no more. No, nah, when the other shoe was nah, and that's the point I'm like, damn, how people forget. They don't forget, bro. 
Nah, he ain't forget. He oh, just yeah. smelling his ass, yeah. ain't he, man? Yeah, that would have lived. Nah, he smelling his ass. Nah, he smelling his ass, and I'm like, nigga, come talk. Like, nigga, you want you was a little boy. Nah, I got all the footage. I'm a casual. Sit. You was a little boy in front of me. Nah, you want to see me big grown man ticks? Nah, you was a little boy in front of me. Nah, well, when you just now start having nice things, nigga, we still pushing Maybachs and shit. Like you just. Good for you, nigga. Welcome to the good life, nigga. Yeah. I salute you. So don't don't get on no you. Let's not have no cockfight. Like, now, nah, nigga, been living in in you know, nigga. Turn, nigga, that was the reason you wanted the interview. You wanted to hear about the life. So what are you saying? You too big? Cause you oh you got a million followers. Now nah, I live in the real world. Hopefully your your username ain't better than your government name. Yeah. Now, nah, hopefully your username ain't heavier than your government name, nigga. That's the whole thing, and you know that's what I'm gonna be preaching. Now, nah, little bro, y'all found the username groovy, but make sure your government name heavier though. Now nah, I ain't gonna be telling, hey that's man, come and goddamn me. Make sure you 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 and your homies in the back, all you know, bust some guns in the air and make some people cry, some then shoot it to me, and I'm gonna. Yeah, no, nah, let's not do that, fam. Let's no, nah, don't let's not be doing that, my nigga. Man, man, that's done, Chief, man. Man, I sure appreciate you for coming over on the show, yeah, man. For sure, I'm gonna man. be honest with you, man. Anytime you know, anytime you call me, I'm picking up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to do everything I can to do right by the city for sure. But at the man, end I'm of the day, city. I'm pro city. I see bro. that, man. I'm I, city, hey, listen, man. I see that. I know that. I always knew that. I'm you know what I'm city, saying, bro? Like, like, and I just in how I look at it. That's what I'm saying with the I'm like. You know, it's just about y'all collectively coming together and being like, hey, man, we got the, we got all these followers, man. We got all this influence. Man, let's start breaking some of these. Or let's, you know, let's turn this in. Guess what? Y'all will forever be in motion because as long as y'all steady breaking all this, they going to have to keep coming with content. You'll be keeping on getting exclusive of these. So you'll forever get your numbers. Yep. You won't have to be worrying about to go and get this from there and drawing this from there. Nah, man, for, and, and, and I ain't saying stop doing what you're doing as far as the, 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 the current events and this and that, but I'm just saying, shit, a broaden your, a broaden your platform. Y'all get, y'all got all these labels probably looking at, listen, they looking at y'all. Give them something to look at. Break some music. Bring a different dynamic into that shit. Break. Hey, man, start dropping videos on boys shit, man. Hey, bring y'all video. I'm going to do the interview. Bring your video on her, too. Drop your video, your single, too, man, you know, and push that shit out. Let me ask you this. Are you uh, with the way that you're doing your, your stuff That's now? That's what I'm on. That's what you on. Yeah, it's because I'm, I'm an artist also. You know, like, I want to be able to get other artists to come and chop so shit. So are you going to drop shit. certain ones on your platform? You know? Listen, everything I drop go be exclusive. It's going to be some done chief or whoever, whoever uh, the artists I'm interviewing, if they got their kind of product. Man, I think that's dope, man. So, what made you get into podcasting? Because that's why everybody asks. Because it's now. like I can't, I can't, I gotta find. I couldn't rap my way to it. I gotta cap my way to it. And and when I when you sent me that clip, it had the food on there. Did that come on every time. Yeah, yeah. What I do is it's called Eat Greedy TV. So it's just pretty much I have somebody cooking for us, you know, that's whatever dope. whatever kind of plate lunch we want. You know what I'm saying? Steak, whatever. Then I'm how to eat greedy girl dish. It just it just on some just just also just showcasing black talent. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna be a black chef coming through, showing they showing how they get in that get down in that kitchen, and you know, just like a I want my shit like a kickback vibe. So is it just now? So have you been pushing episodes out here lately, or these the first ones coming out coming this out. week? So basically, because this was the older episodes, yeah. So you just now for to start dropping, yeah, them. yeah. How many yeah. do you got coming? I'm I'm getting I excited got, now. I got me Charles. I got me and Slay Cheese. I got me and Rainwater. I got me and uh. I forgot. I got the other one. I got myself. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So uh, I got about five or six so you, of them. Are you going to bring DOC on? I know you locked I in with got, them. I already got, we already said my did that too. No, I'm talking about parts on the, on on the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. With yeah, the yeah, evening yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd yeah, be dope, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I, got, I got Bobo Luciano. You got Bobo coming? coming. Yeah, That's I'm, my nigga. You know, he be over here a lot. Yeah, That's I'm, my boy. I'm, when he coming, man? But I got him coming for the documentary also. So I'm killing two birds. I love Bobo, man. That's my boy. Yeah, so I got a little runny come. I mean, you know, 
No like, running. That's you know, gonna be dope. I'm, I'm also I'm really trying to get the honeys too, man, because oh, yeah. that's the game. You know, I ain't just with kicking it with all these fellas. You know, like <laughs> I be liking the honeys, man. man. Like that's where the money at, man. I got it. Hey, that's real. You know, just too many guys running too too much to testosterone. To restaurant, what you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Niggas just, you know, everybody get the high, <laughs> niggas get the hollering and shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas try to see who yeah, the You know, we get some honeys in the building. You know, niggas gonna be lighting up. I ain't go too quick to show that bitch in them. You know what I'm saying? You niggas know, eating. Ain't go, you know, having a good time yeah, with the so, honeys. So I'm gonna bring that vibe because like it just, it. this just my world though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I know that I am a myth. Now, yeah. I know a lot of people know of me or just heard about me, never saw me or nothing like that. So, you know, the podcast, and, and you got to understand, we really started it like 12 years ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah, E Greedy TV. We, it was just like, because that's how I'm able to do the Dr. The Dunn Chi documentary because we captured everything. All that's the dope. lifestyle, you know, the the, the, the Bentleys, the car, the house. We, we, everything. Well, you just start putting it out? Yeah, yeah, I'm putting well, it together. Boy, you know well, that's so, hard right there, like, right now. That's I'm hard, saying, boy. And I'm like, nigga got me fucked up ain't gonna let me ain't gonna tell my story you know what I'm saying like nigga this I, I got something to say a lot of people wanna see it anyway that nigga a lot of people wanna see it now I got something to say so you know the podcast is just more of a way of me opening up to the people because yeah. I don't really do social media I'm a you know I, I ain't tapped in I don't really I don't watch YouTube like that and I don't you know I'm, I've been private for the last five six years you know yeah. what I'm saying I haven't I haven't chap, I haven't been big chief but you, you, know feel, it, you feel you so feel let us in a little bit you know that's that's more people getting to hear me talk my talk like you know it. and then getting some exclusive music at the man. same time well just just promise me you're gonna keep coming over here and man, seeing me listen, man you, you got to come listen, see me man that's why we playing team ball yeah now, you know I need you you yeah. know what I'm saying I'm I'm gonna definitely like, do it. Nah, I need you. So it's like shit. I'm gonna give you vibes and shit that you can come and share. We just go feed off each Man. other because I'm gonna bring it to my world, whatever kind of play lunch you want. You know, you don't drink water. I mean, drink, but we drink water. Gave yeah, 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 for sure. Or some, you know, or cigar. How you? It's just a vibe. You know what I'm saying? And we just go talk. I talk, you know what I'm saying, Man. And, and, and just what we on, you know, like, you know, I just wanted to, you know, just come in. And I'm get glad you did, you. man. Yeah, no, you can come, but uh, you know, you, you got to come back because I told you, me and you had talked before this about you coming yeah. with Lucha and Buki when I bring them that's on. Cool. That's cool. Because I want to do that's something cool. to, you know, that's just cool. to show the the people, man. It's just the foundation I look at. Come an old nigga. I'm like, right. I remember this time. I'm really creating my nah, own picture. Of what? Yeah, like what it was, how it was. All these people need to hear this, man. Like when I bring Bobo. And Pim Ken on here to talk about Pim C. Like I'm doing stuff like the story that, bro. Be told. Like everybody telling their story and their side, and people get to see a side that they didn't know about, and that legacy can live on. All I'm saying is, damn, them boys that got them platforms should be happy to tell these stories. Yeah. Like, what's the problem with telling these stories or letting these stories be known? You don't know. That's gonna keep your fire burning. Man, you done helped me. Like I said, whoever come over here, that's what I'm doing. Like when I talk to people, sometimes it's tough. Like I bring up the. Uh, Say the Mo three, and I be like, dang, or, or the or the or the trap boy, but that's our history, or or the or anything, or brain getting shot down in Tyler, anything, or this was said or that. We talk about those things, but at the end of the day, they are the history that we 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 pretty much right. produced here. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Or Kiki and them being over there dealing with screw, we over here, and it seemed like there's no come together, but we know that we right here, like. That's something to be said. But then I talked about the fact of in the penitentiary, football is serious. Like, we not for the and, – and the penitentiary Dallas niggas yeah, not missing yeah, with it, Houston. Yeah, it, it they not doing that, bro. It is what it is. And so all of this stuff is our history, though. And so I think it's dope to be able to have a platform to be able to display that. But you know we got I mean? a music history. That's what that I'm saying. Is, we, yeah, definitely got what, that, too. That's what I just want to get across. I want, nah, we got a music history, even if it is the boogie. Let's talk about it. <laughs> we, that's what me and B, Mr. Hit that talked yeah, about yeah, the other day. Even if it is the boogie, let's talk about it. And then it's like, shit, I know that I, I know I can't speak for the world. Definitely. But for my city, I know I'm groovy. Man. So, man, uh, again, I got to say this. What's the name of your podcast again? E Greedy TV, Done Chief YouTube channel. You know? Okay. Yeah, and, and, and what's the name of your uh, your Instagram? Official Done Chief. Okay, and, 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 and Facebook, same Facebook, thing? Facebook, Dunn Chief, or my real name is going to say Kayan Katori. Kayan Katori. How long, how, I'm going to ask you this. 
how you gonna drop them episodes when you they gonna drop every week, once a week, twice a week, twice a week, twice then a week. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop another one more to clip probably tomorrow or something. And then okay. I'm gonna drop the full episode probably Friday. Just then I'm on to the next one. Dope, drop dope. On YouTube channel. Yeah. The little, uh, you know you do the, the reels on YouTube channel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can do that. Re- re- yeah. That, okay. All of that helps and the story. Yeah. Okay. All okay. of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got just I got, like Instagram. Same I got thing. A couple, my social media guys, they help me. They out. They working so with it that's too. That's why I'm dropping. They want finish. I got a couple. <laughs> I got a little assistance, but yeah, yeah. That's just a plan. Man, just, we and yeah. thank you for that because, yeah. like I said, that's needed, bro. That j- your legacy has to be told, and if you gonna come out and because I even it's like low deeds. A couple more people just told me they gonna do podcasts. I'm hearing a lot of people saying that, and I think that's dope. I think that's dope for the city. I think and I mean, we, we gotta work, man. Yeah, for as with me, I just know I'm one person entertaining enough that people oh, are gonna uh, uh, go rock in with. Come you know on, stop I, playing. It's going I, down. I don't know about too many people that could pull it out, but I know I could pull it off. You know, like I can pull it off. And so, I definitely agree with yeah, that. Yeah, you know, so and it's been good. Like I like when I and now that I'm finna start dropping, I'm excited because I ain't played this game. I got a lot to say. Yeah. I be just too busy talking to my goddamn self. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much for yeah, coming nah, on the I show, man. You, man. I hope I, nah, I, 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 I did you justice, man. man nah, you As always, justice, we man. do nah, our thing. I, I appreciate you for letting me come. Man, just, anytime. I, did, man, I just wanted to, you know, and, and, and just just kind of counter punch what what little homie was on and what he was talking about, and now I got to understand yeah, it. And I, I hate thought, man, I hate that he look at it like that. You messed too, me man. up because that was three months ago when it happened. Maybe two months, two, yeah. three months ago. About three months ago. About three months ago. And and when you said. Man, he said this on I'm like, I didn't even remember to be honest I with you. Some of it, you were too happy. Now, I want to <laughs> tell you what had happened. My guy, I was getting a haircut the Friday. Okay. And my little homie was like, he was listening to yo. He, Ball was, talk. he was on Ball Talk. Ball he was talking one hit that. He, hey. Hit, he was on there listening to hit that. And he, I was like, uh, he was like, I was like, yeah, I, be, I just got the phone. Guy was like, man, I be tuned in all of Big Bro. I be trying he to like, put He like Ball Talk. Yeah, he fuck with He was like, man, I was trying to tell you about that nigga Say Cheese ass. I, you, and I wasn't, I must want paying attention or something. He was like, I was trying to tell you about that nigga that nigga didn't supposed to say that you know what I'm saying and I was like for real I was like okay then I had Dewberry you know he he was like you know bro you know but another person that's when I asked I was like man what that when you what, called me he's like, like what he say like, God, he said you was a legend but then it was some, I had to really go back and look at it I, I didn't remember heard, I just heard people kept saying he was like somebody too big to yeah, be messing with yeah, me like it, it, nigga shouldn't even be dumbing down to be messing with me I'm like why would he say that like we, I, I didn't like get that, but then you want you like you you discussing too far. Now nah, I'm just older than you, little bro. I ain't old. I'm just older than you. Now nah, I tell you, now nah, I look better than you. I'm nigga. I'm groovier than you, nigga. What you talking about? Like what the fuck? Man, that chief, man. Thank nah, you. nah, that nigga crazy, man. <laughs> nah, I, I'm like, cause little bro tripping. I wasn't, I wasn't on that type of time. I, I like. I'm, I, it kind of shocked me. I'm like, nigga, we were cool. I was like, but then I see I didn't get the interview, and I was like, that's cool. He just went back to what he what I thought he was. So he, the, my feelings didn't change that he was like he wasn't really fucking with a nigga because he didn't even fuck back with me after he left. Oh yeah, you, know you sound saying? like you, you so, like said earlier, you would get an interview yeah, or something. Yeah, like. yeah, you know. So it was like you know I wasn't tripping. So when I kept when I heard you know he said it right after it just I I hate that I just rebutted this long, but yeah, I didn't. Geez. That's what I was saying when you come. He was like, damn. I was like, I was like, damn, I didn't. Let me go back and check. I told him I got to go back and check this out, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I really, cause I really, was, it was the thing where him and Charleston was, you know, was a real yeah, tug of war at mad. that point. No, nah, yeah. no, he was mad. Him, him, him. He, 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 he really is on that man coattail. No, nah, literally, go. I don't even, I don't even look at, it, but go probably look at his post. I think majority of his shit probably Charleston. It ain't no rappers or none. He got number Charleston shit probably. So I can see why he was really cause Charleston, you know, fuck he now nah, Charles shot a nigga out on the 85 South Show. Now nah, them big them big men, them big platform, they don't know about Dun Chief, but here they go hearing this nigga talk about, nah man, we grew up off that Dun Chief shit. Woo the woo the woo. Nah, they got gazillion people that's from Atlanta that's who is this chief nigga this Charles nigga talking about so at the end of the day I think they he just riding buddy coattail so you know she he he brought him there 
You know, just like he brought him here for you. You know, he just somewhat coming back fucking with you because he see you can be no, a benefit. I'm pushing, man. I ain't, yeah. I ain't got, I, I'm going to be honest with you. This thing, we just with the Chicago and, and Little Rock, yeah, man. Yeah. And you seen how I'm doing, yeah, man. Yeah. I put my own money up. Yeah. That's what a real boss do. Yeah. I yeah. put my money up. I go do different things. Uh, Larry Hoover and him in Chicago or Fred Hampton. I'm I'm with everybody. But y'all doing what y'all And, and I got some do. big ones coming too, man. God, I'm, I mean, I'm proud about what Boss Talk 101 is doing. I I'm being real. I respect because I didn't see this coming like that. I'm I not gonna sit there and lie. Uh, you know, I damn sure did. No, I yeah, you did. I did. I don't know. I don't. You kind of told me not that part, but I this the, about the platform big. was gonna be big. I told y'all was really. I respect that, though. Yeah. Y'all doing what y'all supposed to do. Really, we though. really, we, we, but, it, but, but it's. I never forget the foundation, man. Like I said, when when we first started, I I, I definitely had uh, Mike Jones to come on here. I never forget it. I had you to come on here. I, I, I had Charleston to come on here. I paid Charleston to come on here because I knew, like, like. Uh, come on, man! I paid him because I, I knew that it would be a. Uh, he brought those numbers. To be honest yes, with that you, was, yeah. And, and, I, and so, I get the game. Yeah. You know, I get and the then game. I paid Rainwater to come on here. I don't be tripping off the niggas that I have to pay. You came. You, I'm, I'm a real solid nigga. You came and just showed up. I ain't for the lie. You could have came at me and say, "Hey, E, throw me something for coming." Like I'm being that. real. Let's be real like for that. a minute. But it's niggas like you and, and and ain't nothing wrong with that because I'm a hustler. Right. So I know I. If somebody want this or that, I don't mind. I'm a boss. I put up money for all my team to go with me wherever I go. Not I don't trip. I a real boss gonna put the money up. Hey, this is what I'm on. Just like how I came to him, I just expect that same love in return. Nigga, you gonna get it over here whenever you call me. I'm yeah, pulling up. Yeah, I, if it be five years from later, don't treat me different. Come on, man. Nah, I'm, I, I because tell everybody that bro. I might cash in that favor. I like. I, that is so. It's an, it's a time frame on my favor. I can catch that. What that nigga was like? Yeah. Nigga, you should have kept me when but I was. But Sean ain't charged me nothing either. Let me like, say that too. He no, ain't charged listen, me nothing. He didn't charge me nothing. He didn't charge Charleston nothing. But he didn't charge me nothing because he knew he would come in to see me. So I take it. I take that with the respect too because yeah. he didn't have to come. Rain didn't have to come, but they came. Rain like Rain listen, came back too. He he did his thing over they here. Didn't, they he didn't, my they, platform. They didn't have to come, but they knew they they had that much respect to come though. Yeah. In a sense of like they But you Charleston, done Chief Joe man They, they like Charleston Fucking with him And shit Like once again I started fucking with Charleston one after he done he his he was already numbered up. I didn't I just started messing got introduced to Charleston, so it wasn't like I was messing with him before the shit. Me nah, too. I started same touching way. on him when once he got, got his moves in that same you know way I did too. So at the end of the day, they dope. they knew that was even with him. Now he say he don't mess with rappers. I'm just a real nigga that happened to rap good. Now he messing yeah. with a rapper fucking with me. No, nah, he jam around. No, nah, but that just that's why I'm telling like shit. I, I respect the alley oop. I respect the whole little old play. You know, like yeah. you know, I know they probably wouldn't have came and fuck with a nigga on just like the mutual respect that I Bro, feel like we supposed to have. Man, the way you came over here, like I said, I came straight to you. You you gave that little bag. You like, man, I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna come do it. Call. That Dan Corey Cloud, that's my boy right there. My boy, that's yeah, my nigga, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, that's my guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, he he he. Uh, how, he gonna check on me and everything. I mean, you know, that's how it happened. That's I how just it thought about it. Yeah, just clicked on me. And you know, when he called, when he was over here, he was like, "No, he come." It's just the love, though, the way you pulled up and all that. The same thing with uh, a lot of other people that God put in my life, like Master B, KLC, KL do me the same way. He gonna call and check on me. You see what I'm saying? Certain ones, like Eric Hoover Jr., we talked earlier today. Like, it's certain people, once they link with me, it's been so solid, bro. And, I can't and, even lie. And what I'm on, I want to more congregate on. Man, let's try to turn this bitch up, man. Yeah. Like, let's talk about how we can turn this boy up or not. Yeah. Like, you know, that. Well, that's my new. I mean, if he don't, like, if he don't got that kind of respect in me every day, we can talk because I'm don't. i not mad at him. I don't got yeah. no issue with him. Yeah. Evidently, he just had the issue with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know shit. I thought we were cool, God damn it. But, hey, you know, <laughs> I get it. But, you know, but that's fucked up because now a nigga need him. A yeah. nigga need you. A nigga, we like, try, I'm to, trying to make this shit come together. But if you got niggas that's gonna be looking at people in the city like that, we'll never get ahead. No, I get it. We'll I never get, get ahead if you gonna look at your work, own look, people man. like that. We'll never. Listen, how you gonna get ahead? I gotta say this, man. I'm working on me every day, man. Me every too. day I'm trying to be a better person for this universe. Period. Every day I get up, I want to be a better person. 
I'm being real. That's the day to day. That's that, that's where you it's should feel. Us, so if I have an opportunity to up one and be a better guy, that's what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? And 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 sometimes I ain't saying I'm perfect with this platform the way we put it together. A lot of times we didn't understand what this interview might do to this or th what this might do to that. What going here might go. But at the end of the day, we where God put us, bro. Man, show we here, but it been rolling though. Show that. Show that's your, too fast. Help your other <laughs> too fast. Nah, too help fast. your other guys. Your other your other peers get some Lambos. Help them yeah, show them how to yeah. get some stores, how to start their own business. Yeah, running yeah, instead of real. instead of trying to charge them and keep them as a as a worker. Yeah. I never charge nobody to be on this platform. Even though people charge me, I'm a boss. I'm just telling you. I've been doing this ever since we done did over a thousand and something. I never charged not one person. And I said I had Did you hear what I, I just said? Yeah, that's groovy. And I had a budget for <laughs> You hear what I just said? Listen, mm -hmm. I had a budget for him. Even if that's because I respect, okay, I see you done up your notch a little bit. If you do come with me on some Hollywood shit, I ain't gonna play. I ain't gonna try. I'm gonna play the game cause I need a little bit of what you got. But nigga didn't even have the decency to even take the money. That's funny. Wow. Yeah, man. Like I said, and we can go all night, man, because your history don't stop. It ain't your history stop. don't keep, stop. Nah, every day I live, I make history that day. You hear me? So, shit, I'm just building on top of it, bro. You know well, what I mean? Me, like I said, when that music coming, man, and you finna drop that project, every time you got to come see me, man. I know you. I know the music fire anyway. Man, it's, 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 it's made with love. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. Now, I ain't just doing this shit. It's made yeah. with love, man. So, so if I, if, and I'm going to say, if, with... And I, I and this is just my personal thing, so don't trip. If if it was somebody like in the, it, that been doing the music, Scarface, now I'm trying to give me an old head. I ain't true. I ain't lying to y'all. Somebody like oh, a, a, a like Kiki. That last uh, this legend thing with hard. Oh, that boy went boy. Hard. Yeah. I listen to we listen to it on the way to Little Rock. Nah, nah. I no, told him. I, I told him I was, that, I was on that. I was on that motivation. It went in. Man, yeah. It yeah. went in. And niggas say they might kill me the way I, for what I come through in. Now I can relate. Man. How them boys could try to kill you for the shit you coming through in, man. Man. He just was on uh, 85 South, too. Now, listen. They, boy, now, they, now, they see they do it different. Let me tell you something. Now, listen, bro. They see they do it different. Now, them boys. Listen, you got niggas like Sauce Walker and them mm. who, you know, shout out to Lil AK who he just signed. He fucking with, uh, fuck with Lil CJ. Now, I hate that all our artists going to Houston. That really be hurting my feelings because I'm like, damn, man. These niggas ain't even getting enough love from her to even stay home. They going all the way to H Town to go and get going to going to rock out. Let now, me tell you something. That shit crazy. You got Eric over there with the with the other guy. Now them boys going and I'm like, man, that shit fucked up. And that speaks a lot. I take a little bit of, of the responsibility myself. You know what I'm saying? But that just goes to like, man, us being so divided here. Man, let me tell you something. I gotta say this about Kiki. I was in Chicago and I called Kiki. I was like, man. He was like, what's up, E? I said, man, I'm just, I call you to tell you thank you. Like, what, what you talking about? I said, man, cause he say, I said, man, when you when you came on my show, you went on Dunn and Houston first, then you came on my show. This is how solid I looked at it. I said, but then after you left there, you went to uh he went to 85 South, he went to uh Beehive. And he went to that other other one, but he 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 showed love to us, man. Before he even went did any of those other platforms, and I just wanted to acknowledge being that. Real, I'm man. being real. I want. He said, "Man, you know what? Yeah, I got to take care of home base before I do any man, of that." Be real. You don't think the man now, told me that? He cut from that old clock, man. He know what it means. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, he know what it means for to have them fans and, and and having them 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 true honest people that fuck with you. Cause we done went through them spurs where where we didn't have no good body probably fucking with us like they was. So. He know the meaning of just valuing relationships. Yeah, definitely. He know the meaning of it. Like, nah, man, them boys do it a, did it a whole different way. That's why they still eating it this day. Now, don't get me wrong. They got their young bulls. Goddamn me coming, making moves and grooving. But they still out here eating real greedy, man. man. Him, Slim, Ro, Bun. Them boys still out here something. piling. I'm, they why we eating. shouting them out, man? And, they, and I ain't, I'm just telling you. When I went to Houston the other week, it was me and my wife. We went up there to interview. We were going to interview Life Jennings. Something fell through. So I, I pick up the phone. I call one of my Houston cats. I hit Pow Wow up. He hit me right back. Then I hit uh, d -Ray. I hit up my other guy, King Noah. I said, he said, man, D-Ray going to come over there. I had spent money and went down there on my own budget, like right. I, like I right. do, right. on faith. And, man, them dudes showed up, man. Mr. Mike drove all the way in from uh, Corpus Christi. I'm, I, yeah, South Circle. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. Way. Yeah, I love no, that boss way. talk. That way. That way. Shout out to Jay Holland. That way. Call me, man. Yeah, these they just showed up. People started showing up. T Dash. 
I'm being real. When I didn't know what I was gonna get when I got down there, that's hard. That's, they showed me they mad show love, love, bro. Now they show love, and I just, you know, I just wish hometown we can we can get that get on shit top up. of yeah, it. Yeah, we can get, it. and we can because we we got it. Yeah, oh, we got it, man. And it just, you know, it, and you know, it for one. The, the the one and, and all the young bulls got like you know rainwater you know yeah. they like they all think the same mm-hmm. they don't think about they they i oh, fuck them old niggas they, like they think they they all think the same and it's like they the ones who got the positions they the ones who who somewhat in the positions right now and they they go fumble that boy say cheese you got out you go fumble it man y'all gotta put i want to see on. i want to see rain 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 that one man i mean but i love interviewing he, that nigga man when he be telling me this different stuff about the city what he went through the boogie era every time he, he sat in that seat i was this nigga wild he, he tell man, me something crazy listen listen i got a whole hour and a half he was just going off the rocker <laughs> like but but i fuck with him because at the end of the day when i talk to him he admitted he he know he go he go he go say that crazy <laughs> shit. But little bro gonna be like, yeah yeah yeah, you all right, you got you. Yeah, <laughs> that damn rain something different, you know, man. But but he, <laughs> out, but he also just one of them niggas he'll say that in front of you and go behind you and say something else. Damn. Now nah, Charles, why you mess with him? Why you mess with him? Now nah, they play them little kid games, so they still got a little growing up to do. But they the ones who in position. Yeah, they in position. Now nah, that's fucked up. Yeah. Nah, when them boys still got some growing to do and them boys in position, that's why we can't goddamn me connect because they still playing little boy games. Man. Well, me and you, we, we, it go in every time, don't it? But <laughs> nah, them boys still playing little boy games and little boys will never run the city. Grown men run every city. Little boys just look to build a show. You know, that's why when you look at the goddamn me, the, the, the sports, don't get me wrong, them young bulls, they first 10 games, 20, 60, 60, 50 games, they they the highlight rims, but when they really get to that goddamn me nitty gritty, it's going to be the vets, the ones who the battle test. Gonna bring it in, eh? So right now, you know, I tell a person like this here, you right, it is a young a young man's game, but it's a grown man world. Wow. It's a big difference. No, I was that young nigga. I was Michael Jordan. I was that young nigga telling them old nigga, y'all can't fuck with me. And they probably couldn't. In the way I thought, but they were like, man, shit, let that nigga get 30. Let him get 35. Let him watch this. He, yeah, I see a young nigga here go buy another Bentley. Instead of saying, here, young nigga, what this, what you, what you doing, what you, you know, what you credit like, what, what you own, what you got. They, you know, they weren't giving that game. They was, you know, and all of the young nigga goddamn me gliding from the free throw line. Instead of telling Jordan, you know, pace yourself, use your other teammate. I just watched the last dance all this morning. Now and I learned, I was looking at it, I was like, no, nah, man, I look at my life and my career like Jordan, you know. I, the first run, it was good. I made myself a legend. Now you right, it is levels. I can't do nothing but add on to my legend, my legacy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Them young niggas can't never do what I did because it can't never be reduplicated. No, it can't. But I can do what they doing. Mm. That internet there. I can do what they doing. They can't, what what you just said, I totally agree. Like, no, man, when it come to Dallas Fort Worth, yeah, I know I'm going on the goddamn me thing. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going on that goddamn me. I go on that motherfucker wall of fame. Yeah, yeah. But I'm still her. I'm still looking good. I'm beautiful. I'm groovy. You know, I'm healthy. I'm in great shape. You know, I'm ready to goddamn me put that crown back on and polish it off. So that's what I'm on, just adding on to the legacy. So it's like, you know, we 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 got action, man. You know, like I'm here to just connect with niggas like you. Yeah, yeah it's a different game it. now. Yeah, it's now a different I wanna game. connect with the say yeah, cheeses, yeah. the real life street yeah, stars, yeah, yeah. the real t- yeah. Nah, this a new guy. Let's play, y'all. Yeah. Now, yeah. now you the on he the now out of any no every block y'all and all gave me the red carpet. Yeah. Now he the only one. What, what that look? What that look like? Now if every other blogger done fuck with me, gave me the red carpet, but it's just the one in the city. That look, that look, that look kind of shady, don't it? It is shady. It is, bro. But guess what? I met him before I met any of y'all. Wow. I gave him an interview before I gave any of y'all, but he got probably one of the biggest platforms, but he won't even fuck with a nigga. 
Nah, Damn. man, we need to boycott this sucker. See, niggas need to start. Re see, if we start handling them boy like them niggas. See, Dallas ain't never just been ran with an iron fist. Houston have, Atlanta have. Them boys been man maneuvered with an iron fist. You know what I'm saying? We start handling these boys with an iron fist, cutting their water off. Niggas start acting right. It ain't really been street out here. It just been politics. Uh, when niggas start getting real street with these boys because at the end of the day, Y'all ain't shit without the people. Excuse my French, no, but y'all ain't nothing without us. Without the content, uh, it's nothing. No, you, nah, nigga, you stop know. giving that nigga content. Let that nigga start doing some old. Find a way, nigga. Break somebody. Then the nigga will be looking crazy. Charles to stop giving him content. He just start coming over here to you and do. Now, now he was crying because he was giving me content. Come on, man, that's weak. Yeah. Man, check it, man. Hey, man, thank you nah, for coming man. on the show, man. Appreciate it, man. We Great got, job, nah, man. man. You know, Say, it's, man. It's, hey, it's love, going man. down, man. Boss Talk 101. Don Chief came through today, man. Find Show us mad love. Y'all yeah, make salute. sure y'all tap into his podcast. Make sure y'all watch anything. Chief, you too, typing man. down through there, man. Boss E. Hey, Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk, huh, man. man that little Boss running talk. gave me that, right? Nah, listen. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Y'all be looking out, man. Me and Lil Runny got something He told me man. that. Salute to my little bro. Like, everything that he got going. Like, like little homie, I'm really proud of him because he went from the, the high top to the ball top. You he know did. What I'm and about? still made and it he, right. Nah, he still, and he groovy. He looking good while he doing it. And he just riding his own. Like, out of any other the any out of any out of any of them boys, he rode his own lane. Yeah. Like you couldn't put him in a box. Like that's why he's still here. Even though and he had one, you know, he had one of the most influ influential people in the game coming out to his shit, Beyonce. So wow. you know, and he doing shit that boys ain't doing. He writing for everybody in this. Yeah, yeah, he playing a different lane. So different I'm, I'm, lane. I'm 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 playing team by our little bro. Off the T.O.P. I can't yeah, wait to see when y'all yeah, 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 they we, working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I can't wait to see this project shit, when it come through. Nah, he told me it's going to be heavy. the videos he come up with, I'll I be very impressed. You man, know? work yeah. on, work. y'all boys both got good, good, great work ethics. Yeah, yeah, we so groovy. I can't wait to see it, man. Groovy, man. Say, check it, man. Hey, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Sachi.